Rightway Transportation Academy doing a pre-trip inspection on a Class B, Washington style. So grab that pointer stick and let's get this rig pre-trip. So we are going to begin with the test, uh, doing our exterior lights, demonstrating that they all work. So I'm going to roll my window down, turn my ignition on. All right, we're going to start with uh, we're going to start with head, uh, overhead clearance lights. We're going to do high and low beam, left turn signal, right turn signal, four way flashers. Go to the rear of the truck. All right, now we're going to do clearance lights. Left turn signal, right turn signal, four-way flashers, brake lights. Okay, now we are going to begin our air systems check. So, we're going to begin our air systems check with our pressure below 90 PSI. And I'm going to fan the brakes down since we're above that. All right, we're below 90 PSI. I want to demonstrate that our air governor cuts in and starts climbing. So I'm going to do a safety start. I can see my needle climbing. So our governor is in fact cut in and we're building pressure. Next, I want to make sure that our governor cuts out between 120 and 140 PSI. That means our governor uh, just cut out at 125 PSI. Okay, so our uh, air governors are working properly. Uh, test number two, we're gonna do our uh, applied brake leaks test. So we're gonna set that test up by making sure that we are in uh, neutral. Our wheels are chalked and uh, we are going to release our brakes, shut the truck off and key on. Okay, so to begin this test, we wanna make sure that we press our brake pedal firmly and we will not lose more than three PSI in one minute. So I'm gonna begin that test now. We're stabilized and we're gonna begin the test at 100 PSI and I'm starting the timer now. All right, we're gonna simulate that it's been one minute. Beep, 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 my timer just went off. I have lost zero pressure. The next test that we're gonna do is our low air warning. Uh, and we're gonna fan the brake pedal down to simulate an air loss. And our low air warning light should come on at 55 PSI or above. Low air warning light came on at 65 PSI. We're gonna continue fanning our brakes for the next test and we're gonna demonstrate that our tractor protection valve or parking brake pops out uh, between 20 and 40 PSI. There we go, our valve popped out at 30 PSI. That concludes our air systems check. So I'm gonna do a safety start. And while my pressure is rebuilding, I'm gonna do an in-cab inspection. Neutral, brakes are set. All right, I'm gonna start my in-cab inspection with my seat belt. My seat belt is securely fastened on both ends. It latches properly. 
Uh, my seatbelt is not cut, ripped, torn, or frayed, and it is adjusted for myself. Next, I'm gonna do all of my glass, my windshield, my side windows, and my mirror glass. I wanna make sure that they're all secure, they're not cracked or damaged, uh, they're clean, and there's no illegal stickers to impede my vision. Uh, next, I am going to uh, make sure that my window rolls up and down smoothly. And then I'm going to inspect my mirror brackets. Uh, I want to make sure that all my mirror brackets are securely mounted. Uh, we're not, we don't have any loose or missing nuts and bolts or brackets. And my mirrors are adjusted properly for me. Uh, also, I'll make sure that they're not been broken, cracked, or damaged. All right, next we're gonna come back to our windshield and I'm gonna demonstrate that my wipers work and the washer fluid. All right, our wipers are securely mounted. Uh, they're not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. Uh, no loose or missing nuts and bolts and our wiper blades are secure. They're not cracked or missing. Uh, next thing is gonna be our uh, heater defroster. So I'm gonna put the fan on high, temperature to hot, and on the defrost setting. Okay, our defroster is working properly. Uh, next, I'm gonna do my uh, dash indicator light. So I'm gonna start with my uh, left turn signal, right turn signal, four way flashers, and my high and low beam, my high beam indicator. Next is gonna be my gauges. So I'm gonna start with my volt gauge. We are uh, charging at an adequate range. We're working properly and there's no warning lights. Engine oil pressure is working properly, building to an adequate range, no warning lights. Water temperature is building to an adequate range, uh, working properly, no warning lights. Uh, now I'm gonna indicate that my ABS light is working properly. Uh, when I start the uh, truck, my ABS light comes on and flashes and then uh, goes out after and that indicates that my ABS is working properly. Uh, let's see here, that's my indicators, that's my gauges. Uh, next thing I'm going to make sure that uh, my horn works. And what I'm going to check now is uh, I'm going to do my safety equipment. So I'm gonna make sure that I have a properly rated and charged fire extinguisher that is secure, not damaged, not missing. I'm gonna make sure that I have three reflective triangles behind me and they are secure, not damaged or missing. And I wanna make sure that I have spare fuses. Six to be precise. All right, I'm gonna make sure that I covered everything in my uh, in-cab inspection. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the uh, exterior pre-trip inspection. We're gonna get out of the truck and we'll do that from the outside. Actually, that is a good example right there. We are gonna do our brake checks, okay? So what we're gonna do for our brake checks, um, we're gonna get out and unchock our wheels, uh, which we just did. And we're gonna first check that our parking brake is working properly. So I'm gonna keep my parking brake set and I'm gonna put the truck into drive and I'm gonna make sure that my parking brake is working by tugging on it. Okay, I can feel that the parking brake is working. So I'm gonna leave it in drive for the next test. I'm gonna release my brakes and we're gonna do the service brake check. So I'm gonna pull forward, both hands on the wheel. I'm gonna gently brake and make sure that my truck does not pull side side to side, which would indicate brakes out of adjustment. Uh, all right, so I simulated that my service brakes are working. We did not pull left or right, uh, so my brakes are properly adjusted. That concludes my air systems and in-cab inspection and my brake check, so we're gonna get out and do our pre-trip inspection. All right, exterior pre-trip, class B, automatic, in the fire truck. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my first system, front of the truck. 
my three L's, leans, lights, and leaks. I'll start with my lights. I'm doing all of my lights, lenses, and reflectors on the front of the truck. All of my lights, lenses, and reflectors are securely mounted. They're not cracked, damaged, or broken. Um, they are all clean and they're the proper color of red. I'm sorry, they're the proper color of amber on the front and on the sides of the truck. We're forgetting that the fact that this is a fire truck, so forget that. Proper color, amber on the front and on the sides of the truck. Uh, next, we're gonna make sure our leans, that we're not leaning from side to side, which could indicate a suspension problem or a tire pressure issue. Uh, leaks, we wanna make sure that there's no leaks under the engine or transmission, no fluids of any kind dripping on the ground. Uh, so next we are going to come to this side of the truck and because this is a cab over, we're not gonna lift the hood up. So I'm just gonna tell you how I would inspect this on any other truck. I'm gonna start with my uh, engine fluids. I'm gonna start with my uh, oil uh, fluid. Dipstick, adequate level, above the fill mark. Next will be my power steering fluid. Dipstick, adequate level, above the fill mark. Next is gonna be my coolant fluid. I'm gonna check that in the sight glass, make sure that it's adequate level. If I don't have a sight glass with the engine off and cool, I'll pop the radiator cap or reservoir and make sure that we're at an adequate level. Uh, lastly, I'm gonna check my fuel tank. Um, on this truck, the fuel tank is in this area here. I'm gonna make sure that my fuel tank is secure. It's not damaged, it's not leaking. That my cap is secure, tight, and not leaking. Uh, next, I'm gonna do my exhaust system. I wanna make sure that my exhaust system underneath the truck is securely mounted. It's not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. All of my clamps are secure and tight. And uh, I have no uh, holes in the exhaust system and I would know that if I had leaks by soot trails or rust trails. And the next system I want to move on to is going to be my engine components up front. On this side of the truck we have our alternator. Our alternator is securely mounted, it's working properly, it's not damaged and the wires, the electrical wires on the back of it are securely fastened and my alternator is belt driven. Speaking of belts, I'm gonna inspect all the belts on my engine to make sure that they're uh, all secure and uh, not missing and my belts are not uh, cracked, ripped, torn, frayed, no loose fibers. And I'll check the adjustment of my belts to make sure that they are between a half of an inch to three quarters of an inch when I deflect by hand. Uh, let's see, after that I'm going to do my water pump on this side of the truck. I'm going to inspect that to make sure that it's securely mounted, it's working properly, it's not damaged, it's not leaking, and my water pump is gear driven on this truck. We're going to go around this other side here. This side of the truck I have my air compressor pump. I want to make sure that my air compressor pump is securely mounted, works properly, not damaged, not leaking, and it's gear driven on this truck. Next is gonna be our power steering pump, securely mounted, working properly, not damaged, not leaking, it's also gear driven on this truck. That's our four engine components. I wanna mention that I'm gonna inspect all of the hoses under my hood or engine area to make sure that they're uh, secure, they're not damaged, they're not leaking. Now I'm going to do the steer axle of my truck. Uh, I'm going to start with my suspension system. I want to inspect my uh, suspension leaf spring hangers. My hangers are securely mounted, no loose or missing nuts and bolts, and my hangers are not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. Next is my bushings. I want to make sure the bushings are secure, not damaged or missing. Next is going to be my leaf springs. They're securely mounted. They're not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. They're not shifted, and they're not missing. Next is gonna be my U-bolts. My U-bolts are secure, not cracked or damaged, and uh, not missing, no, no loose or missing nuts on them. Next is gonna be 
on this truck I, I have a shock absorber on, on the front axle. I want to make sure the shock absorber is securely mounted, not damaged, not leaking. And all right, so that's my suspension system. Next is my steering system. Uh, I'm going to inspect my steering system from the steering wheel to the wheel. I'm going to be checking my arms, links, sockets, and joints. I want to make sure that everything is securely mounted, not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged, and my sockets and joints are not loose or worn. Uh, from there, I'm going to inspect my steering gearbox right here. It's securely mounted to the frame. It's not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. It's not leaking and no loose or missing nuts, bolts, or cotter pins anywhere in my steering system. I'm also going to inspect my hoses just like I did with the other hoses under my hood. Like item. And from there, I am going to inspect my brake system. So my hoses and fittings, uh, they supply air to my brake chamber. Fun fact. And my hoses and fittings are securely mounted. Um, there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. Uh, from there, I'm going to go to my brake can and clamps. They're securely mounted, not uh, bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. They're not dented, and no missing clamps. Uh, from there is my slack adjuster and push rod. They're secure, no missing pins or hardware, and they're also not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. And I would check my brake adjustment with my brakes released and I will have no more than one inch of pull when I pull the slack adjuster by hand. Less than one inch. From there I'm going to do my brake linings and drum. I want to make sure that they're all secure. Uh, I want to make sure that there's uh, no cracks. That my brake linings are uh, not excessively worn thin. And there's no oil or grease. Uh, in my brake linings or drum area. Uh, from there, we're on our tire and wheel system that I can see. So my tread, I want to make sure that my steer axle has a minimum of 430 seconds of tread depth and that we are evenly spaced and no cracks or damage on the sidewall. My wheel is securely mounted. It's not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged or dented. No illegal welds. Uh, from there, I will go to my lug nuts. They're secure, they're tight, none of them are missing, and uh, my lug nuts are not cracked or damaged. And the lug bolt pulls are not distorted, no cracks radiating, radiating from the holes. Uh, from there, I'll do my valve stem and cap. They're secure, uh, they're not damaged, and they're not leaking. And I'll check my valve stem with a tire pressure gauge. And lastly, I will check my hub seal is not leaking. All right, from there, we are going to do the door area. I'm gonna check my door hinge to make sure that it is secure, it's not cracked or damaged. And my door seal, the rubber seal, is secure intact. And that my door latches properly. I'm gonna check all of the steps and anywhere that I step on this truck, I'm gonna make sure that they're all solid, they're securely mounted, um, they're not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged, and there's no slipping hazards like grease or oil. Uh, let's see here, from there, uh, I'm gonna do my, uh, I'm gonna do my frame and cross members under this truck. Frame and cross members are all secure, not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged, uh, no illegal welds, uh, no holes, and no missing cross members. I'm gonna do my uh, drive line and U joints. So the drive lines are securely mounted, not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. They're not twisted. And my U joints are uh, they're secure. They don't have any uh, debris wedged in them. And uh, bonus points, I definitely want to make sure that my driveline and U-joints are properly lubricated. Let's see here. Coming back, I'm going to go ahead and do my drive axle on this truck. 
So my drive axle, these are all gonna be like items to the steer axle. I'm gonna start with my suspension system. The suspension system, I got my uh, hangers, bushings, leaf springs, U-bolts. I'm gonna inspect the same as my steer axle, uh, as well as my shock absorber. All the same as my steer axle. I don't have air, uh, airbags on this. No airbags on this system. So again, I'm gonna repeat that. I'm gonna inspect my hangers, bushings, leaf springs, U-bolts, no shock absorber. I'm gonna inspect all of that the same as my steer axle. Uh, so next is gonna be my brake system. My hoses and fittings, brake cam and clamps, push rod and slack adjuster, brake linings and drum. I'll inspect the same as my steer axle. The only difference is um, I have a dual brake system. There's springs in the brake cans back here. Now I'm gonna inspect my tire and wheel. I'm gonna inspect my tread, sidewall, wheels, lug nuts, cap and valve stem, hub seal, the, way, uh, the same as I did on my steer axle. The difference is I have to have a minimum of 230 seconds of tread depth in all rear tires. And I'm gonna inspect my dually area. I wanna make sure that my bud spacing is secure, uh, not damaged, and uh, no rust. I wanna make sure that my tires are evenly spaced and there's no objects or debris wedged in there. Okay, so that's my suspension, my brakes, and my tire and wheel system. So now I'm gonna inspect, if I'm required to have mud flaps, I'm gonna make sure that they're securely mounted, not damaged or missing. Um, this truck does not require mud flaps. Uh, back of the truck. I'm gonna inspect my lights, lenses, and reflectors on the back of the truck. Make sure they're secure, uh, not cracked, damaged, or broken. They're clean and they're the proper color of red in the rear. Yeah, just red in the rear on this truck. And I'm gonna take a moment and make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, that'll complete my pre-trip inspection exterior on this unit. Rightway CDO Academy. Remember, use that pointer stick and practice, practice, practice. You got to watch this video as much as possible and get it done.